This is David Hofmeister's Unwind Your Mind Back to God. Read by Tarana Singh. We continue laying the foundation today with Book 1. In Chapter 6, this is Section 11. Opening to the Experience of One Mind and Unified Perception. Hi, David. A thought came to me a while ago which I tried to put aside because I perceived it to be total arrogance. It would not leave, though, and eventually I asked the Holy Spirit to help me look at it. The thought was that I am really all there is. God created one son, and everything and everyone I perceive as outside of me is really me. I am the one dreaming the dream. All the characters in the dream are of my making. There really is no one out there who can make me angry or be angry with me. Nor can there be anything out there that I can fear because everything out there is what I made up. I have made the bodies of my friends, my children, and I use them to maintain my own illusion. I am the dreamer of the dream and all figures I encounter are dream figures of my own making only. Now, the arrogance of even entertaining a thought that I could have done all this made me shirk away. And yet, if this is true, which I really sense it is, so many things fall into place. All anger that I perceive then has to be within me. When I forgive anyone, I really only forgive myself because they are made in my mind. I would not have to hold on to any belief system because who would I need to prove something to? What can I judge against? What would I need to defend myself against? If it all starts within me, All of the judgment, beliefs, attack, etc. would be pointless because I would only be attacking what is within me. If all is within me and everything out there is my dream, experiencing oneness would become effortless. Part of me wants to grab wholeheartedly onto this because I can sense the total release that would come with its acceptance. Yet another part of me says, you are finally losing your mind. If anyone has to know what you are thinking, you will be locked up. Please help me. Beloved One Blessings of Love You are finding our mind, the mind that shares the Holy Spirit's purpose. The idea of everything being one mind is the introduction of the idea of the forgiven world, the happy dream of forgiveness. The ego made the cosmos. This is reflected in the early workbook lesson I have invented the world I see. The idea that everything is one mind does eliminate the possibility of attack, of proving something, of defense, judgment and separate opposing beliefs for oneness has no parts to conflict. The Holy Spirit asks that you accept the idea of one mind wholeheartedly, 
for that is the correction to the error called ego. The ego was the belief in private minds with private thoughts. But if mind is one, the ego has no foundation on which to stand. Forgiveness reflects the oneness that shines beyond perception. Forgiveness unifies and shows the world anew. You are not going insane. You are going inward to sanity of mind. And unified perception is the gateway to the remembrance of God and Christ. The idea you have shared is the key to the puzzle of the ego. The door is open wide. Now you will begin to realize that there are no exceptions to the idea. This transfer of training is the end of the puff of nothingness that never really began. The end of illusions is the final illusion of forgiveness. For the ego was but one illusion, not many. The sameness of illusion seen in mind is the end of multiplicity and complexity. Only a blessing remains. How blessed is the mind that sees there is nothing but itself. There is no subject, object, split, no perceiver, perceived, split, and no observer, observed, split in one mind. Oneness is simple. Truth is simple. Happiness is simple. Love is simple. I rejoice in our oneness, in happiness and peace.